So now I'm going to um, go ahead and take a urine specimen, a sterile urine specimen from Tim's catheter. I'm just gonna, I've already checked Tim's identity, made sure it matched my chart, and I explained to Tim what I was going to do. So the provider has ordered a sterile urine culture and sensitivity. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. The thing with um, this is you wanna make sure that you actually have an order for it. Uh, so check your order and see what the physician wants or the provider. Okay, so I already have a sterile um, specimen collection cup. It's sterile because it's, you know, the seal isn't broken. I've already labeled it with the patient's information and I'm gonna go ahead and begin. All right, Tim, I'm just gonna go ahead and get a urine sample and I'm just gonna take it from your, from your Foley, from the, tu from the tubing there. And um, so you, you shouldn't have to do anything. I'll just get this done and we'll um, leave you alone, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and expose what I need to. And this is the port that I'm actually gonna take the sample from. Now, a good word of advice is a lot of times the urine that is in the tubing may have been um, sitting there for a while. So you're gonna go ahead and you would wanna drain the urine that's in the tubing out first. And then what you're going to do is you're going to clamp the tubing for about 15 minutes and then you would return back and take your sample so that you have fresh urine. So let's say that I've already done that, I've clamped, I've got fresh urine, and I'm gonna go ahead and proceed. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is clean off the port that you're gonna be taking the sample from. So again, this is like a lure lock port. It's got a back valve on it, so nothing's coming out of it. This port, again, remember, is for the balloon, so we do not want to be taking anything out of there. That's not even in the bladder. I mean, that's not anything that's draining urine. It goes right into the balloon. And then we will need at least a 10 cc syringe. If um, you wanted to get more volume of urine, you would probably want to do a, you know, a 20, you know, you'd still use a 10 but you would want to draw up 20 cc's instead of just 10 cc's, but you don't want to use too big of a syringe. You want to stick with a 10 cc syringe. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that right on the port here. And it's a lure lock, so you kind of have to push in and turn it and twist it. And then we're going to go ahead and draw the mount that we want. And we're not going to get a lot of urine right now because we're in a mannequin, but then once you draw up your 10 cc's, keep the tip sterile. Don't touch it on anything. Open your container, put that cover upright, and then as you're putting the urine in, do not touch anything. Just put it right in the middle there because you don't want to contaminate, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and put the cap on, keeping our sterile sterility of the container. And then you're gonna have your biohazard bag right here. Now you notice I didn't really touch any urine, so I, I'm okay with my gloves as such. But if my gloves got contaminated, I would want to change those. All right, so this is already now in my biohazard bag, so that's ready to go. I'm gonna tell the patient I'm done. So I'm all done with this, Tim. I'm going to unclamp it, and I'm gonna cover him back up and we're gonna discard our garbage and make sure that he is safe and comfortable. Side rails are up, bed locked and low. Call light is in reach, tray table's in reach. And ask him if he needs anything before we leave. Tim, how are you doing? Do you need anything before I leave? No. Nope. Okay, great. Well, let me know if you do. I'm gonna step out now and be back in about an hour or so and uh, I'll get this to the lab. Thank you.